G'day guys, how's it going? Today I have a little surprise for you. We're gonna to listen to a few excerpts from a, an interview between Rove McManus and Steve Irwin, okay? So Rove McManus used to have a TV show called Rove Live and Steve Irwin was the famous um, conservationist and zoo owner from the north. He used to have TV shows and tragically died in the early 2000s. But this is a great, great chance for you guys to practice your listening comprehension and understanding of Australian accents. So Rove has an accent that's probably closer to mine. It's the general Australian accent and Steve Irwin definitely has a more um, broad Australian accent as you'll see. He uses heaps of slang, lots of different expressions, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this episode and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, you are excitable. I am, mate. I'm on fire. <laughs> How's this? I just got to toss Jennifer Love Hewitt behind the stage there. Like, you what? I grabbed her. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. She's gorgeous, isn't she? What a little beauty! Oh, mate! <laughs> hey? Woo. She's gorgeous. <laughs> now, can I say, it is a pleasure to meet you because you're one of the uh, few remaining guests that I have yet to have on the show and yeah. actually chat to, so it's actually really great to have you here. Thanks, mate. Good to be here. <laughs> Now, uh, is it exciting for you with all with the movie coming out? You've been doing probably a lot of interviews and everything like that. Is it actually yeah. great to be back home in oh, Australia? Oh yeah, oh mate, it's like it's like you know coming home is easily the best thing. I was in America. We did like five weeks, twelve hundred interviews. You know, from one end of the country to the other, and uh, it was very, very daunting. And to come home, mate, it's like crikey! Thank goodness. I'm here. Do you miss the outback? Oh, absolutely. First thing, get off the plane, mate. Didn't go home. Boom, straight into the bush. Threw me swag out, camped under the stars, and I was healed up. <laughs> Peace, great. Now, how, how big are you in the States? They love you up there, don't Six they? foot and about uh, 97 kilos. <laughs> they love you up there, don't they? Oh, heck, mate, it's going ballistic. <laughs> no, it's going off. It's like, um, you know, I've got to have bodyguards, minders, police escorts, you know, the, the limousine convoys and, you know, secret agent doors. <laughs> They're putting on camouflage and disguise and stuff, mate. It is absolutely... It's weird. It must it's be really weird. Because that's not where you come from at all. No, nah, mate, I'm just a bloke from the bush. You know, g'day, Steve, how you going, mate, type thing. <laughs> go over there and it's just like everyone's... Um, having a go. It's, it's, you know what it is good for, though, Rove, is we're conservationists, mate, through and through, like we live for conservation. And our message is so strong. Mm. Really good. We're saving the world. Which is good. <laughs> it is. Well, have a look. Have a go at what's happening, Rove. You know, we've we got this dark cloud of terrorism, you know, yep. September 11th and all that kind of stuff. And here's this bloke from the bush up in Beerwa, Queensland, having a go. And bringing goodness into the world, you know, wildlife, wilderness, conservation, greening up the earth. Yeah. And teaching people to pick up snakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Highly venomous snakes, mate. I've got a couple saved up for Osama Bin Laden, actually. Oh, look out, that's fine words. Yeah. Now, when you're in the States, do you, quietly, do you turn it on up a, a little, just turn the Ocker factor up a little bit more? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, mate, I would. How's this robot? Way back in 1995, because uh, 92 we kicked off doing the docos and it was all, yeah. you know, going ahead, great rate of knots. And then, I, you know, I looked at the camera a bit different. You know, I started to change, you know. I used to watch, um, you know, David Attenborough and I thought, oh, yeah, I'll stiffen up a bit and do the right thing here. Yeah. Oh, I was sagging, mate. Going down the toilet real quick. So Johnny, <laughs> uh, me producer, director and yep. good mate, he's out the back there. Keep him out the back. Can't even on camera. He's too ugly. And um, <laughs> he said to me, mate, he's gone, look, Here's where you're going wrong. You're trying to change. You're trying to change for the camera. You're trying to be someone you're not. And it's not working, mate. We're not going to go one step further if you do that. Mm. And he's dead right. And so, we, like, we did this movie. No script, no plot, no story, nothing, mate. <laughs> go out there, jump on the biggest croc you can find, nearly die, and everything will be great. <laughs> to explain what crikey means to people when yeah, you're away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the most commonly asked questions is what does crikey mean? Well, it's all about being Australian in World <laughs> War II, really. My grandfather and my father were big crikey users, mm. you know, so as a young bloke, when they'd hit their, you know, thumb with the hammer, they'd go... 
crikey. <laughs> yeah, so what? Yeah, so it, it covers a lot of words, you know, like G, G whiz, wow. <laughs> yeah, that one as well. <laughs> hey, it's a good one. It's a good one. I've got a new one. The next movie I'm going to trial this new one. Struth. <laughs> It could, mate. It you, could. Do, you, do you drink coffee? No, no, heck no, oh, mate. Top me head and blow off. I was wondering. <laughs> I, I tried it once. Tried it once. It was ten years ago. I haven't recovered yet. Yeah. So, so explain the, the movie collision course. Yeah. Because you 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 do just there, you're saying there's no script. Mm -mm. So you just went in there and literally because mm. there's scenes where you're jumping on crocs and oh, things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how's what happened, mate? It was like we're well, coming back from Namibia. I had gangrene in me hand here. I you know fell off a cliff and got gangrene, nearly died anyway, whatever. Coming home, <laughs> coming home, mate. And, um, and I'm talking, you know, me and John were on the same plane, yep. you know, South African Airlines, coming back and all busted up. He goes, what do you want to do about this movie, Steve? I said, oh, well, I've got to catch these crocodiles in September of 2000. He's gone, that's it. That's the nucleus of the movie. So rather than filming it with video cameras, he shot it with movie cameras, a lot of them. Because mm. you can't get the old croc to go, oh, take one croc. <laughs> take two, you know, and they won't read scripts either. And um, so we filmed all that. We got the nucleus of me jumping on 12-foot crocs, mate. It was a bit, like, wild stuff. Mm. Got busted up. You know, I had to have a cartilage operation in between filming. Got my lips split in half. Got my head caved in. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, my chest torn apart. Had to crazy all that down because too much blood for the movie. You know, we wanted to maintain our yes, PG got rating. You, of course. Right, so now we've got, we've got the nucleus. We've got the croc stuff. Then we talked to Bruce Willis in uh, 2001. He's gone, you guys want to get on the big screen. You know, if you've got a message, take it to the big screen. Bruce is a very clever operator, and he's right. Take it to the big screen. That's where a, a conservation message is really going to be heard. So we hooked up with MGM and Cheyenne Films, Bruce Willis, and uh, we started filming in um, October of 2001. Finished it, like, March this year, and um, there it is. Done well, deal. Well, we've actually got to... I mean this... In the highest possible regard, yeah. but there is something seriously wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you think you could show me, skinny little white boy from the burbs, how to jump on a croc? Like, is it something you can teach people or is it something you have to learn? No, I can teach you, mate, but you've got to have, you've got to have guts, you know? You've got, to, you've got to be prepared to commit. You go in on a croc like that, mate, you've got to be fair dinkum. You, you no know, mucking around. So if I'm going to show you this, you've got to go in and you've got to go in hard. OK, can I go in hard on, like, say, a pretend crocodile? <laughs> I'll take... You be Terry, mate. I'll walk you through it. <laughs> OK. It's all about picking them up in the spotlight, getting close enough. I'll take the head end. But for me to stay alive, you'll have to hit hard on the tail end, mate. Well, Otherwise, the I die. Come out the back because right we've got a special Rove Life crocodile area set up. Uh, out this way. Righto, mate. Um, so when did you first learn how to wrestle a croc? When I was nine. Nine? Yeah, nine years old, mate. Jeez. Dad up me, had me out the front of the boat and he's gone, you get this one, son. <laughs> Couldn't believe me luck. OK, so here it is. Now, yep. don't get too scared. Righto. If you think you can handle it. So uh, let's say there's a croc. There it is in the water. You probably should if, if you're going to get in. It's only a six footer, mate. This shouldn't be too hard. So take me through what, you, what you're going to do. All right. We're just going to get uh, Steve's equipment on so he doesn't electrocute himself. It's all about reality, mate. Like, um, first thing you do is you pick up their eye shine. Yep. And then when I've located their eye shine, then I'll put my spotlight down. You'll have to keep yours on it until the last possible it's on, moment. It's bang. Rightio. Let's um, sneak around here, mate, because you don't want to hit them from the side, because I just whack and hit your head. That's true, I've seen him do it. Rightio, so what I'm going to do is, as soon as I get close enough, mate, I'm going to grab it around the neck, right. and then you're going to have to skewer the tail, otherwise I'm going to get killed. Crikey, Steve. Rightio, you're going to need to run it. Righto. You're right. Righto, mate. Right. I'm going in, mate. So thanks for watching this episode guys, I might post it in the group and we can sort of come up with a plan for how to best use these episodes. I'm thinking that you guys could work together to transcribe 
the episodes using YouTube in order to practice your listening comprehension. Um, we could talk about the vocab, the slang that's used, break it down. The basic idea here is to help you get used to Australian accents, okay? So you're not just listening to me all the time. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in a comment. Remember to like, to share, and to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon. Peace out. G'day guys, thanks for watching the video. Remember, if you want to support the channel financially, you can do so via my Patreon page, which is linked in the description below. If you can't afford to support the channel financially, you can still help by spreading the word and sharing the videos. Thanks so much guys, stay awesome, all the best.